why China will one day dominate the world. In 2019, the United States of America is the world's most powerful country. This superpower dominates, exerting its power and influence across the world. Russia comes in at number two, followed by China. China has had a turbulent history, but it has risen to become a major force in the global community. Leading multinational banks reckon that Asian economies are going to grow significantly and that between the years 2020 and 2030, we'll be seeing these countries take top spots on the list of the world's biggest economies. There are books available on China's future economic strength, and these books tell us how this Asian country is set to change the political and cultural landscape of the world as we know it. The question arises, will China's historic rise contribute to a better world or just make a more powerful country. Chinese ahead in the missile arms race. China is busy expanding and increasing its might. The country is ahead in the conventional missile arms race and the US is trying to come up with alternative strategies. Senior intelligence officers in the USA agree that China has the means to overwhelm the defensive systems that the USA are pursuing. Many Western experts say that Chinese armed forces and weaponry suffer from technological lags. But you have to look at the sheer power of numbers. China has the largest armed forces in the world, and it is Asia's leading missile power. China is also committed to modernizing its military to equal those of other advanced military powers. The rise of China's military will have a multidimensional impact on other Asia-Pacific states on its way to being a technological power. Donald Trump has promised to make America great again. But China's president, Xi Jinping, has been busy, quote, realizing the great renewal of the Chinese nation. The Chinese president is determined that China becomes one of the most innovative countries by 2020 and a leading technology power by 2049. China is well connected with more than 500 million internet users, compared to the USA's 245 million Americans online. The Chinese are determined to keep up with technology and be part of the global brain, contributing massively to global consumer culture. China's youth being well-educated. A country isn't the most powerful because of its technology, its military forces, having a high military expenditure, or the biggest navy there are other factors that come into play. It's intelligence too, and how a country puts these other factors to use that contributes to it becoming a powerful country. America is a superpower because of its innovative scientific research, which ensures a technological and economic lead on many other countries. When it comes to intelligence, China isn't far behind and has the world's largest university population with the focus being to improve the quality of education. It wants to make sure its young people can step into any job, anywhere. Some other things that contribute to a country like China being powerful. The size of the country in terms of population sizes and being able to defend itself. China is the biggest state in the world, certainly in terms of population, perhaps apart from India. Rapid modernization, too, is busily transforming this country into a powerful one. Geographical elements, location, climate, borders, etc. China may well share borders with 14 countries, but because of mountains, swamps and deserts, China has been like an island. It can't just be accessed. Its western border is made up of impassable mountains, and its eastern border is the Pacific Ocean with access to major trade routes. Geographically, China has a number of advantages as well as natural resources to make it a major world player. Many countries dependent on Chinese economy. While the United States still has the US dollar, the world's global reserve currency, China has a plan to realize its global economic drive. It's One Belt, One Road infrastructure plan designed to strengthen China's connectivity with the world. This is a network of roads, pipelines and ports that will link the economies of more than 60 countries across Europe, Asia and Africa. 
This BRI project is designed to increase trade, investment and connectivity between China and these countries, making them all more dependent on the Chinese economy. This will increase China's economic leverage over them. Some financial experts believe that because of the demand for dollars, making the dollar more expensive, this has contributed to US trade deficits. As China's economy grows, the US won't be able to deal with the capital inflows that are necessary to remain the world's reserve currency. China would then shoulder some of the burdens of being the global reserve currency. A well-behaved, trustworthy nation. China is also launching its social credit system. They'll have access to their citizens' financial data, their consumption habits and their social connections so as to assess their trustworthiness and their ability to access certain sought-after services. The system has already been implemented and the Chinese will have sanctions and rewards as the Asian country steers its nation to less privacy but to better behavior. Chinese business rising in the global economy. This year's list of Fortune Global 500 companies had 119 Chinese companies, too short of the US, which had 121 companies in the list. Export certainly sets China apart. After all, everybody has bought something that says made in China. Small wonder that the West wants a piece of this lucrative market. China's economic growth has outdone most other countries, and they also have massive buying power. American companies such as Google have come up with new ideas and products so as to get into the Chinese game. There are some political experts who say that China's economic growth and naval investment could see it toppling the USA off its pedestal of power as soon as 2020. China is economically, technologically and politically expanding, and it's important to the rest of the world. Certainly, the United States of America needs to understand what China's direction is, what will come in the place of the current global order. The political order, make no mistake, is going to be authoritarian. Towards the Chinese order. China is poised to dominate the world, and the world is waiting to see just what China does with its power. During the Cold War, the United States was a beacon for governments to embrace certain values. But in the 21st century, it is China who is now offering authoritarian values. And the difference is, is that Beijing won't be negotiating, but demanding that other governments accept the China order. <laughs>